Hey, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Going to work on uh, episode two here. We'll go over uh, two aspects of the demo room. One will be the hush box that holds our projector. Um, it conceals it within the room. And then the second thing we'll go over is some of the wiring and systems that are running this room. And uh, overall, I should have made a couple episodes on the wiring because there's a lot more to it than uh, I had first thought that was going to go in here. Uh, overall, let's go over the hush box. Um, what we've done is, uh, well, basically what a hush box is, is allow a projector to sit within a wall, a soffit, or in our case, a cabinet, and uh, keeps the unit quiet. And uh, in your case, you keep it quiet. It's usually going to be in a space that's concealed, and you got to keep it cool. So what we've done here, as you can see in the picture, is an inline duct fan from AC Infinity. And uh, what we've got is a 4-inch duct grill on the bottom that can be purchased from AC Infinity runs up through their four inch duct into an inline duct fan that inline duct fan is uh, their passive version so it, it does have speed control but it doesn't have their their fancy display um, and then that runs to a Niles low voltage um, triggered outlet and that triggered outlet can either be from the projector um, an AV receiver or in our case it's going to come from the control system so we'll have a uh, macro that turns the theater room on and that will uh, turn that first fan on and that's going to push air um, into a second cavity of our hush box so i'll open that up now and then you can see the top shelf here that's basically giving us um, a suction into the room or we're pushing air into the projector and then on the outlet of this thing you'll see we have a, a cabinet fan from ac infinity we're running both those fans as a suction so we're pushing the air out into the room and in this case we will use the display so we have the temperature display you can see the inlet below um, if anybody's wondering the black track is led lighting and you can see we're, we're still doing patching and work on the room but uh here i'll shut it all over here and you can see it gives a nice clean look within the room and it also gives us a clean look on the other side because you have just the uh, projection system lens coming through Okay, so for the second part of the video, I'm going to go over some of the wiring of the room, uh, mainly the equipment rack and equipment room wiring. Um, there's a lot of other stuff I wish I would have gone over. Here you can see me kind of zooming through the uh, audio control rack. Uh, we've custom made power cables. Those run down to the uh, Furman IT Reference 20, and uh, those are for watt gate connectors. It's all 12 gauge wire, it's uh, custom built braided wire. And then we have our uh, speaker connections. So for the LCR and subs, we're using uh, PM33s. For the back of the audio control rack, we're using S-bands. Those will be uh, soldered and heat shrinked on all connections. And then we use a, a Kimber 3-braid wire. This is equivalent to their uh, PBJ interconnects. And we'll uh, custom solder all those XLR cables to length. And we'll zip over here to the equipment room. So you can see some 12 gauge wire, some of the control wire. Uh, you can kind of see the layout of our equipment racks. So the middle rack there is for house audio. And uh, these are our Meanwell uh, transformers, um, excuse me, power supplies for the uh, low voltage system. Um, audio control uh, Radio Raw 2. We've got an RTI PCM4. That runs the serial connections to the Epic Links, which are our star ceiling controllers. And then you can see this is the panel below. So these are our advanced pro controllers from Epic Sky. That runs uh, four of the seven zones of lighting in this room. And we may be adding an eighth zone here, it looks like. And then kind of do a zoom out on the room. So you can see we got three equipment racks, 37U in spacing. Um, far left rack is for our network, um, server for the uh, business, um, some switches, um, probably have a couple pieces of source gear in there. And then the center rack is for house audio and the right rack is for the AV equipment. And we'll obviously go into this more in depth through other videos. You can see that this is kind of uh, rough and fast on here. There's, there's way more wiring and stuff we could have gone over on this room. Um, I even have some uh, pre-wire images I'll post up on some further videos. Um, appreciate, appreciate you taking a look at this one, and uh, I think we'll have a lot more cooler videos. In